Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode, another video of my 107 channel. Today's topic is the Ki Chetronic, the potentiometer and the idle control, which sometimes is getting tricky. This same, the same Chetronic system has been used for other models such as the 126 and the 201. Today we will have a closer look at the interaction of the baffle plate, potentiometer and other devices. We will trick him by simply do it manually. Some time ago I made already a video on the potentiometer as seen above on the picture above on the left hand side. Some time ago I made a video about the idle control valve as shown on the left hand side above. At the very end I will show you the items needed here in the video. To start off we will remove the housing of the air filter so we can see what's underneath it. Later on then we start connecting the multimeters and have a look at their results in various conditions of use. First thing to do after we have taken off the housing of the air filter is checking if the baffle plate is at in starting position. We have a look at the baffle plate and see that this one is in starting position, way up, therefore closed. If it is open slightly, this could be an indication for a high idle. If the baffle plate is open and too wide open, this is a clear indication when idle is simply too high. So if the idle control valve is giving the wrong signal to the baffle plate, therefore the baffle plate is too low, which is getting too much air into the engine, therefore the idle is too high. Over here at my left hand side is the throttle linkage gear. You can check that easily if it has a little tolerance or if it is sitting too tightly. If so, too tightly, the throttle, if sitting too tightly, the baffle plate is slightly open, an indicator for a too high idle. When idling the electronically controlled idle actuator always regulates the air supply to the engine. We now pull the plug from the idle actuator and see what's gonna happen. Just being curious what is going to happen with the idle, if it is too high or way too high. I have now disconnected the idle control valve and as you see the idle is going up remarkably. I have now plugged it in again and as you see the idle is lower. As you see as I pretend driving by pulling at the rods of the gear. The baffle plate is now closing. This is being controlled by the potentiometer. So what happens when the idle actuator is being plugged off? As a result, the idle increased remarkably. The idle control opened the baffle plate so the engine does not die. The valve is also regulating this when you are, for example, at a red traffic light waiting for the green. All this is being controlled by the idle actuator. Same situation, you had a traffic light, you are not on the gas pedal but on the brake. Width in consideration has to be taken. 
the temperature of the engine, temperature of the coolant and whatever signal information we get from the catalytic converter from the lambda once you have a catalytic converter. So if you are having problems with constantly changing idle speed, start taking on the problem systematically. Proceed from one step to the next by removing first of all the idle actuator. In an earlier video I have shown you how to do that. Just click at the info card at the end of the video to have a look at it again. I would start with checking if the switches work properly, if there is enough power supply. Give it a try with the 12 volts to see whether the actuator is working properly or not and then proceed to the next step. If the actuator is working properly, go to the next step, the potentiometer. How to measure that one had been explained in an earlier video as well. Check if the resistance is right accordingly as it should be. Also check when pressing on the baffle plate what is being indicated on your connected meters to give you some indication whatever could be wrong with the potentiometer. Hope you have liked today's video. Problems with the key eye Tronic are quite common, it could happen to everyone. Hope I could demonstrate the interactions and connections between potentiometer, baffle plate and idle actuator. I would be pleased if you subscribe to my channel, the button is right below at the left hand side, so you will always stay informed on several issues of the 107. I hope you've liked it. I would appreciate seeing you again with my next episode and my next video. You take care everybody.